We believe in the power and the presence that's in each of us, in everything and everywhere. We believe in the spirit of life, again, that's in all of us, the energy of life. We believe that that living spirit is always here, it's always now, it's always present. It's a presence, it's never an absence. We believe in a God here that is a presence, and it's a power, and it's here, and it's now, and it's in you, and it's never outside of you. And it's the action of consciousness. It's within me, and it responds to me somehow. We're talking about life itself. Sometimes we say it's mind, which is a strange word to people, but it's this thing which Ernest Holmes describes. It's the heart of life. It's the love of life. It's the beauty of life. It's perfect action. It's the whole bit. We believe this, we know it to be true, and we're going to remind our subconscious mind today that this is true, that power is within us, and we can learn how to use it through affirmative prayer, thinking, and treatment. And there's a process of treatment that I've decided. So today, know with me that there is one energy, one source, one higher power. Think of it always as one, never divided. So if you grew up in one of those traditional faiths where you got some power for our darkness or evil and all that, we're gonna step away from all that. And we're gonna know that there's one energy that fills everything in the galaxies and the stars and the planets and fills you and fills me. And that it responds to us and it animates life everywhere fills us with inspiration if we let it. It floods us with new ideas. We have health, we have peace, and there is divine action or creative activity. Think of it as an energy, a perfect flowing energy that animates all of life. It is an action and it's an action in all of us. It's a presence and never an absence. It's healing, it's blessing, it's prosperous, it's making us great people. It always intended us to be more of what we are. By that I mean to express more of what we expressed before. You know, we're always on a continuum of growth. We don't think of ourselves that way because sometimes we wake up and we see our lives, oh my God, what has happened and I've lost this and I've lost that. But nothing is truly lost in all of us if you think of ourselves as being in a process of unfolding, of, of being in school, if you will. We're all learning, and every one of us, myself included, are more than what we were six months ago or six years ago. We're wiser than we used to be. We know more. We are all doing things differently. We're growing, we're evolving. And this is the way life is. And it's not just happening in us, it's happening in everyone in the world. 